Uh, Let's talk we, Regeneron, Joe, because this this news actually makes the whole thing to, more gonna, complicated. Maybe we can get. Um, um, that's what I, I'm looking down. I'm not like checking scores. I'm, I'm uh, emailing our, our, our friend uh, to see if he wants yeah. to come on. Uh, re, yeah, breaking Regeneron uh, news says. Um, so I'm trying to do both. Uh, Len Schleifer. Preliminary tests indicate its COVID antibody drug uh, cocktail loses effectiveness, which mm. we're. I guess that doesn't. It's not surprising, and there are maybe problems with with antibody-based mm. monoclonals that, that that aren't suited to this spike protein. Uh, Dow Jones says separate testing of another antibody cocktail from Eli Lilly indicates it's also isn't as effective against a new variant. Findings that are early results of researchers' race uh, to assess the impact of uh, Omicron. But, you know, hopefully the, the, the Pfizer and the Merck drug aren't antibodies, uh, the, the therapeutics. Right. They're both yeah, protease, or one of them is a protease inhibitor, the other uh, nucleotide analog. So. But the problem is, and, and this is what I was kind of touching with the CEO, Albert Gorla, from Pfizer yesterday, Regeneron's and monoclonal antibodies, the antibody cocktail, is seen as the most promising thing for immunocompromised and cancer patients, people who can't get out there, right. that they should be potentially taking this even preventatively, which is not approved by the FDA at this point for doing that. But there is an argument that says cancer patients should be taking this preventatively. The problem with the Pfizer pill is not a lot of not all cancer patients can take the Pfizer because pill of drug, because of drug interaction, the drug yeah. interaction with their with their cancer treatments. So if this is less effective, I guess the biggest question is how much less effective, because this was so effective against the other variants north of 90 percent in terms of cutting down hospitalizations and death. How effective is it? Less effective you could live with if it's still highly effective. And the stock's down by about 3% right now, but I would be very curious to see the details about how much less effective we're talking. Yeah, well, let's, uh, fingers crossed that it's a mild, there's no reason to think that it somehow has much more, uh, you know, serious uh, epidemiology, whatever you want to call it, pathology, whatever you call the, the, the way a, a virus works. Uh, in terms of virulence, hopefully it's not, and, and what we but we don't know. That's in the market, 400 points. Right. It, that's that can do it can do that in the blink of an eye. Based on we just don't know. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.